Hello, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. Now, I love to feature entry level pens on my channel. I think there's nothing better than to get more people involved in this wonderful fountain pen community of ours. And the easiest way to do it is with a pen that's a little less expensive, but still has many of the features that you want to enjoy if you're going to take that step into fountain pens, especially if you're coming from the rollerball and the ballpoint world. You might want the full experience from day one that will foster a love for this hobby of ours, if you will, for many years to come. Now, many entry level pens have different strengths and weaknesses, but in my opinion, there's no pen better at giving you the entire fountain pen experience on day one than the Twisby Eco. So let's talk about why that is. First off, maybe one of the biggest considerations is the price. $30, $35, this pen is yours at its most basic level there are special editions that might add another 15 dollars or so so for 30 or 35 us dollars you get quite a bit of pen so let's talk a bit about the cap of this pen it is a screw cap which sometimes can be a little fiddly if you want to take a quick note or something you need to twist the cap off and it takes a little bit of time and mostly you don't notice something like this but if you're jotting quick notes and you're in a situation where you keep reaching for your pen multiple times in a span of a half hour or so it does wear on you a little bit that you're unscrewing and screwing your cap on to get to your pen to write a note so take that into consideration some folks have also commented on what the symbol looks like on the top of the cap. Personally, I don't mind it at all. I don't often look at the top of the cap, so it's not really an issue. The Twisby symbol does sort of remind me of like a Klingon symbol or something. It has a certain sci-fi look to it. So I guess I like it as far as symbols and logos go. And it's always better when they're more discreet. But nevertheless, at the top of the cap, it's just not something I'm really focused on. So they have Yovo nibs, which are wonderful and reliable. And the way they're expressed in the Twisby pen is just brilliant. I feel like they're very wet writers. The Stub is a particular extraordinary, excellent pen. I actually have two Twisby Eco stubs, but of course it comes in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and the stubs. So you do have a wide range of choices, which is great in an entry level pen. Some entry level pens only come in fine and medium. So that's great right off the bat. Another lovely thing about these pens is that they come in a lot of different colors. So there's bound to be a color scheme that inspires you. I just recently bought the indigo and bronze and it's absolutely brilliant. And I also quite love the demonstrator model, which is just simply transparent. So whichever you choose, I'm sure there's a color that can work for you. And another really strong aspect is that the Twisby Eco is very easy to take apart and to clean thoroughly, which is important with a piston filled pen. But truth be told, I've never had trouble cleaning it, just taking out the feed mechanism, rinsing it and letting it dry. Occasionally there's a drop or two in there, but I usually don't worry about that. I flush it with ink and just keep on rolling anyway. 
I like to be edgy like that. This actually brings us to the next point, which is very, very important. And that is the fact that it has a piston fill mechanism, which is absolutely brilliant at this price point. There are some other options that have it, but arguably this one is fantastic. It's reliable. The knob on the piston fill is six sided, which is very handy, especially when you're cleaning. A pen like the Mont Blanc doesn't have any facets to the knob on the piston fill and when your hands get wet and you're trying to flush ink in and out of it it can take quite a long time and it's hard to get a purchase but with the twisby eco that problem is solved with a six-sided faceted knob that's super easy to twist and really also comes into play when you're filling it because you want specific control of the pen when it's immersed in ink because if it should slip in your hand or something and knock over some ink and some ink bottles are not the most stable as we all know like ferris wheel press has very high narrow bottles that are probably not the best for stability so you definitely want to control your pen as well as you can when you fill and the twisby eco makes that easy which is very nice it sucks in quite a bit of ink. It feeds that ink through the feed to the nib in a fantastic fashion. And it's just a very good writer and a lot of fun to use. And the fact that it's a demonstrator means that whichever color of ink you put into it, the pen will take on the color of that ink and you can see it sloshing around in there. And that's a lot of fun. Sort of reminds me of a lava lamp or something. You just see the color moving around. Absolutely brilliant. Quite a bit of fun. So perhaps the aesthetics of this pen are not the best. It competes with a pen like the Lamy Safari, which although divisive, is a fantastic Bauhaus design. The Twisby is not winning any design awards, but it's a reliable pen. It's pretty enough. I have no issues with it. I quite like its shape. It feels absolutely brilliant in my hand. I love that it's a demonstrator. There's just so many positives about this pen. Now, on the negative side, there is a bit of expertise that's required with it because if you are new to fountain pens, you might not know how to use a piston fill pen. But nevertheless, it's easy enough. You dunk the nib into the ink and you twist the piston until it fills with ink. And it's pretty easy to tell whether or not you have a nice generous fill in there by looking through the pen. I usually flush it once with the ink and do it again. It just seems to create a better vacuum and give you that much more of a fill, but absolutely excellent pen that is incredibly reliable. Just a great pen at $35 and it's just extraordinary for your first pen. So I think the value proposition with the Twisby pen is just extraordinary and it makes it just a stupendous option for your first fountain pen right out of the gate. It just gives you an incredible experience that really does match with much more expensive pens. You don't have to fiddle with cartridges and converters if you don't want to. And you can just get into sampling inks from all different bottles and just enjoying yourself with this fantastic pen. So personally, it is one of my go-to recommendations for an entry-level pen that will give you the broad range of experience in a reliable fashion. I love this pen. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's talk a little bit about the writing experience with this pen. As we all know, that is the most important part of any fountain pen. 
And fortunately, the writing experience is nothing short of amazing. This is an incredibly smooth writer. The experience of writing with this pen is equal to one that costs many times more than this pen. In fact, there's another Twisby model called the Diamond 580. It's an absolutely lovely pen, beautiful. But nevertheless, the experience of writing with it is really hard to differentiate between it and this wonderful Eco. It's one of the reasons why I'm so enthusiastic about this pen. It's smooth, it's expressive, it's not prone to skipping or false starts. It just always seems to be ready for you to write with it with a very lush nib and feed that provides you with so much ink at the ready to just be as expressive as you want to be. It's an amazing experience writing with this pen and I really cannot recommend it to you enough. I've heard from some people that there can be cracking with these pens, but frankly, I don't know what led to that. I have multiple Twisby pens and I have never had an issue with the integrity of the pen. And I can only speak from my personal experience and I've carried these pens all around the world with me traveling and everything else and I've never had an issue. So from my perspective, it is extremely reliable and just a fantastic pen from a durability point of view as well. So what do you think of the Twisby Eco? Is it a pen that you recommend to first time fountain pen users? Let me know in the comments. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you've reached this point in the video and you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you along on this journey with us and see where we go next. Also, if you want to get even more involved in this channel, membership is available. Come on behind the scenes, see what's going on there. There's a lot of interesting things. So I make new videos each week and I have a live show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I promise we will see each other again very soon, further up the road. So take care.